I'm Adriana Ogle. I'm 16 years old, and I live in the U.S., Wake Forest, North Carolina. And I currently dance in the North Carolina Youth Tap Ensemble. I'm going into my seventh season with the company. I got into tap because of Teletubbies. <laughs> a typical answer would be, you know, I saw Gene Kelly or Savion Glover, or I saw a friend in the studio, but I saw a little girl in a white dress we always got out her white tap shoes and said, tap shoes, tap shoes. So Adriana would go and turn on the Teletubbies video and go and get her dress shoes that look like tap shoes, bring them downstairs and click them together and call them tap shoes. And after a few times, she was actually um, memorizing the choreography that the little girl was doing with her tap shoes. Adriana would put on her shoes and do the same thing. And she did it over and over and over and um, then I just asked her one day, does she want to learn how to dance like that? And she said yes. And she was three and put her in tap classes. When I was younger, I was painfully shy. I would not speak to people very much. I was just so shy. I didn't like to talk. I didn't like to go out, out of my comfort zone. But as I've grown up, I've seen how that can really hurt me, not just, um, not just in attaining what I want to attain, but in personal relations. You know, I may come off as reserved or just uninterested when maybe I am interested, I just can't project that. So um, I've definitely gotten better and I continue to work on it. I knew I wanted a job, and I wanted a job teaching because A, I love to share, and it's also a great way for me to practice and still have fun with others. The summer, I needed a fill-in teacher for four weeks, and she came to mind, so um, I called her, and I just really thought that um, even though she's young, that she was so mature and so um, driven that I thought that uh, she would really do a good job, and the kids really responded well to her. They loved her. They looked forward to coming to class. Like, if you fall, that's okay. I fall all the time. It's, it's no big deal. By the way, if you don't know who Jimmy Sly is, look him up. Diane Walker is definitely one of my greatest influences. She is currently known as Diane Lady Di Walker because she is the first lady of tap. And I've always admired her compassion and her willingness to share. And I've learned so much from her. And I know I have so much more to learn because she never stops giving. And that's something I've always admired. And earlier in the summer, I was asking her about some choreography, and she suggested that I do a swing piece, and that's something that every dancer has done in their journey. So advice she gave me was find a musician that you really, that, you can, that has a pocket that you can really sit into. And I found my music, and whenever I wasn't sure of how to choreograph, I just pulled from her and how she makes me feel. Two years ago at the DT Tap Festival, Maude Arnold, she suggested that I keep a journal because she knew I was really eager to learn. So she said to go to my teachers and friends and they can write in advice uh, or any things to keep in mind as I grow as a dancer. And I've done that. And uh, my book is almost filled. I filled it with a lot of history. A lot of people have signed it. So many people have signed it. Um, older than me, uh, people my age. and. Um, Whenever I'm feeling really down, not just because of dance, but for any reason in general, I always go back to that journal. And people have written beautiful things, not just about me as a dancer, but as a person. And to see that I'm perceived that way, it, it makes me feel good. My family was supportive. They are supportive. And I am positive they will continue to be supportive. We spend a lot of time in the car with Adriana. She also plays soccer. So when she's not dancing, she's playing soccer. So we are almost every day. I, I affectionately, when people call me on my cell phone, they ask me what am I doing, and I say, I'm driving Miss Adriana. Sleep. I've lost a lot of sleep with rehearsing and going to rehearsals that I've had to with the company and even traveling to other festivals. Um, I don't really go to a whole lot of school events or join a whole lot of clubs or hang out with friends outside of school because you know, I'm dancing and 
you know, sometimes it's a bummer, but then I realize what I'm working for. You know, I've come so far, and I know where I want to go, so it's, it's not a problem. I love to dance. I tap all over the place, and they've been so patient about that. Sometimes you think the ceiling is going to fall down. Adriana's room is on the second floor of the house, and she will turn up her music, and she taps as hard as you could ever imagine, and sometimes you just think the whole floor is going to cave in. You can't hear TV. You can't hear yourself think, and uh, that's when she's in her zone. They've been very nice about it. I'm still living here. When I was younger, people thought it was, uh, some people were indifferent to the fact that I danced. Um, some people thought it was really cool. A lot of the people that didn't dance at all, they were indifferent um, because they thought that tap was very dated. When they thought of tap, they thought of you know Nicholas Brothers, old 1930s. And so they thought it was, oh, it's okay, you do that kind of stuff. And I said, no, this is what I do. And show them a lot of the different things that I can do say, oh wow, that is cool. Any dancer will tell you that YouTube is a gift from the dance gods above. I have learned so much, not just about dance, and not even just about tap, but different forms of dance. Um, just things about being a good person, being a fun person. Uh, I've learned how to really create and how to experiment, and I've learned how to articulate what I'm trying to say in terms of dance. And well, I've learned so much from the internet, my history, dance moves, styles. The way I choreograph is always a little different. It depends on you know what, where I'm drawing from and what kind of music or style I'm dancing to. Uh, for instance, my most recent choreography to the song Moon Glow by Cab Calloway. Um, I listen to the music first and see what comes to me. So already in the first bar, ba, Ba da da do da 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 ga ga ga. And once I start hearing um, things from the music, then I'll go dance it and see where I go from there. Sometimes I can look out the window at school, at my house, and see a tree or see a person and see something I really like. Or maybe I'll hear something that I really like. Or you know, maybe just in the conversation, I'll feel something that I really like. And I'll draw from that, see what else makes me feel this way, what else looks this way. How can I put these two or three or what, however many things together? Um, I, I look around everywhere for inspiration because you never know what inspires you. It'd be better to ask why don't I love to tap. Tap makes me feel so many things. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel bad. Sometimes I don't know what I feel. However, I cannot say that tap has ever made me feel empty. Whether I'm feeling good or bad or whatever, it, it, fills me with a feeling, so there's no room for emptiness. And I also love tap because of the people that I work with. I've made a lot of friends, not with just other tap dancers, but people who don't dance at all, uh, musicians. Rob Jiggett, he's probably the one person that I regularly jam with. Um, because of where I live, it's the tap scene here isn't what you might find in D.C. or L.A. or, you know, New York, where there are a lot of tap dancers everywhere, and you can just get together at a jazz place and have a jam. Um, so he's, Rob is the one that I do a lot of my jams with, and we create, we have a lot of fun. passionate about music, but in a different way that I am with tap. Um, in regards to music, I do love, for instance, the piano. I love playing the piano. However, I don't want to pursue a career as a piano player. But that's, but again, music and dance are so connected. So that's something I have to stay with. I want to stay with it anyway. I definitely want to tour with Stomp. I love making music, not just with my feet, but with my whole body. At school, I'm you know, messing around on my pencils, on my desk, 
on the floor with my feet, and people catch me. My teachers have taught me, and they've told me to tone it down, but I, I like to make music, and even when I'm walking down the hall, I get so many stares, because if I have my headphones in and I'm walking to my next class, I'm already, boom, gone in my own, I guess, Adriana Stomp world, and I'm already thinking, go, 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 and then I have to bring myself back together, go to class, and then wait until I can do it again. One of my interests is Spanish. Uh, I've been taking Spanish ever since I was really little. Aquí estamos en Enlo High School con mi profesor de español, Señor West. If I were writing you a recommendation for college, I'd talk about how dedicated you are to everything that you do. Um, you, you make Spanish you make me feel like Spanish is your favorite class. But then I've seen you on the soccer field and you make your team feel like they're the most important thing to you ever and you do it always in such a positive way. You're always smiling. We're, we're actually very fortunate to have a teenage girl that's as nice as she is. One of the things also is uh, she's, uh, she writes extremely well and she gets that from her mother. So in addition to that, I also see her doing something um, in the industry, maybe even writing for um, some kind of dance or something in entertainment. I am very excited for the future of TAP. I've seen where a lot of people have started. I've seen where TAP itself has started. Well, not literally, but through history and what I've been told and what I've researched, I've seen where it started. And looking at how far I've come, how far my friends have come, and how far my mentors have come, We've, we've all come a long way. We've worked together, and we're, we are all working to continue pushing our limits, see how f much farther we can go, see what more we can do. Um, think, what can't we do? Well, why can't we do it? Let's make it possible.